You can use pages to create any kind of document you want. From a simple word processing document that's mainly text, to a page layout document with all the graphics, interesting objects and so much more. And that is why it is so important to know how to layer these objects properly. This video is on request from my subscribers. So if you have any problem, anything unclear or something you would like to learn, let me know about it in the comments below and the next video might be answering your question. In this video, I will show you how to layer objects precisely and how to combine them in order to create some new shapes. But let's start with the basics. I have few examples here. I have randomly edited these objects. If I drag the second one over the first one, it goes above it. And the third one goes actually under. But I have full control over that. I can choose which one of these overlapping objects will be visible on top. To do that, you have these four buttons for it in the align section. So to move an object one increment at a time, you have to click forward and backwards. So now it will move behind the other object when you press it. For example, I click backwards on the green one and it will move behind the black object. To make sure the first one will always stay on top of the stack, I can use the other button, which says front. Now, no matter what I will do with other objects, the black one will stay on top. And at the other end, I can put the red image to the back. I think you got the idea. Now I can just place the objects over each other and use the forward and backwards button to sort the stack one by one. Now when I'm done with it, I want to actually move it aside, work with it as one picture. Yes, you can just select them all, but sometimes you miss one and it will break the whole setup you had before. The best way is to group objects to be able to easily move them, resize or rotate. They will behave like a single unit. So let's do it now. You can select multiple objects if you hold the command key down and then click on them. After that, control click or right click one of the objects and choose group from the shortcut menu. It's the first option on top of this context menu, so it makes it easy to use. You have the same option on the arrange tab in the sidebar, but this is faster technique. Now it will behave as one object which you can easily move somewhere or resize it. And of course, the same way you ungroup it, just right click it again and select ungroup. One more good tip I want to give you now is to lock the objects once they are on the right place. Because when the object is locked, you can't move it, delete it or modify it until you unlock it again. So in this case, it will not move unintentionally. To do that, just click on the object to select it or you can select multiple and then click lock or unlock. It's near the bottom of the orange sidebar. You can also choose lock from the orange menu at the top of your screen or command L shortcut. And you know, there is also a third way to do the same. And that is by adding icons in the toolbar. If you use it often, it might be handy to have it there. So right click or control click the toolbar and select customize. There are so many buttons you can add to the toolbar, including the lock button. Or over here, these icons for layering, which I showed you before. But now let's move on to the other part of this video which is about creating new shapes by combining the simple predefined shapes together. Are you enjoying this video? I have created a complete mastering course with more than 100 video tutorials. Pages is really important app for every Mac user and if you want to find out all the hidden features, this course will be a great guide for you. Of course, for more information you will find a link in the description, but if you are really interested in the course, let me know in the comments below and I will give you a coupon for the best possible price on the market and also answer all of your questions. For example, if you want to create a shape that looks like a heart, you can use three shapes. It's a diamond and two circles. Yes, it takes a little bit of resizing and adjusting, but I think you got the point. 
Now it looks fine, so I will select all three and unite them into a single shape using this button. But there are also other buttons, like subtract shapes, or remove the overlapping area between the shapes. To get to these buttons in the Arrange tab, I need to select at least two shapes. The shapes needs to be touching or overlapping, otherwise you can't use these options. Not to waste too much time, I have already prepared this slide with two objects. It's a square and a star. So I will select these two and show you what these buttons mean. Unite we already did before. It just combines the selected shapes into a single shape. Intersect will create a new shape from the overlapping area only. While Subtract removes the shape which is layered on top of another shape. It basically cuts off the piece away. But it will always keep the bottom shape. So to choose what shape is going to be removed, you have to layer it correctly. If I put a star on top of the square, it will cut it inside of the square. And now the last option is Exclude. That will create a new shape that excludes the overlapping area between the shapes. Now we have the definitions done and I have some examples here to show you. These are objects created by combining standard shapes. If I double click it, I can normally split it and see from what objects it was done. For example this tube, it's not a simple cylinder from the shapes. It's different, you can't make the top to have different color of the standard shape. It is again combination of different objects from the basic category. If you want to know more about these objects, let me know about it in the comments below and I can make another video and show you how these objects are done. Also, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, if you have any question, don't hesitate to ask, because next video on this channel might be answering your question. Anyway, here is Luke and I will see you in the next video.